first an honoring of the divine union of masculine and feminine energy. To the brain, to the body, to the spirit of the most high essence of masculine and feminine energy. Guidance, guidance, guidance in the most supreme spirit of love. We appreciate this opportunity to share just a bit about the sacred garden culture from which we come, as we welcome some special guests from the U.S. Embassy, Belmont Pond, Chief Consular Officer, Vice Consul, and staff. The Kwatamani First Genesis Tribe expressed a traditional cultural welcome with the beating of the drums. High Priest Kwatamani opens the door for this meet and greet on this bright, sunny, hot day. Aplava. That means welcome. Where, where are you at, Miss Barnett? Right here. All right, greetings. Where are your chief? Right here. Speak up, Counselor Chief. Greetings, my brother. <laughs> Uh, oh, greetings even more so, my counselor sister. <laughs> the ancestral tribal sisterhood expressions of welcome include drumming and dance, led by our queen mother, who is the master drummer. And we expressed a priestess honoring of the soulful essence of our guests. Fresh picked coconuts were offered for refreshment. a practice of what we call divine reciprocation, call and response. Because we are not bystanders or spectators to life, but rather full participants and have so much thanks, praise, and appreciation to express. And collective whole life expression is uplifting This is time for us to, to bond and unify and put all the constant confusion and chaos. It don't make sense. We, we're blessed. We're able to be on this planet. We give all the love that we can. We help the next generation and the next and the next and the next. The little things that we do can be so significant in helping to breathe seed and feed a new consciousness because we need it. All praise, thanks, and appreciation. Aquaba, Aquaba, Aquaba. You are welcome. We're very grateful that you guys are hosting us today. Uh, we've been wanting to come out here for a long time. Oh, goodness, you just said something. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, uh, yeah. you know, it's uh, easy to get tied up in the day to day, um, but we were happy to be able to make the time to come out. Uh, I know you guys come in to see us every once in a while. Uh, so thank you for having That's the kind of thing we need to do. Let's learn to work with each other. And if you said something, they're imaginative. 
that you don't mind dealing with an off grid community of people who have a love for Mother Earth and had an appreciation for the fact of our ancestry. And we know, all know the different circumstances. We don't need to dwell in them. What we need to do is go further. We need to go higher. Today, I'm a vegetarian, vegan, or anything. Halfway. Sister Juliana, I am. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you all are watching the video one of ours. I'm Susan Smith. I work with the independent design. Susan Smith, we reach you. I'm Dani Montoya, and I've just been with them for a month. I'm interning there, so I'm the extra hand. <laughs> Uh, I go, everybody. Uh, my name is Lawrence Koig. I'm the American Citizen Services Officer at the Embassy. So I'll have a bunch of uh, really mundane bureaucratic questions for you later. Okay. <laughs> well, I expected some mundane bureaucratic questions. <laughs> Hi, nice to meet you guys. It's Target Statham. Uh, I work in the American Citizen Services section. Hello everyone, my name is John Paul Bernard. I'm uh, one of the uh, diplomatic security special agents. And I work in the concert section and, and uh, help uh, investigate fraud against the United States. Hello everyone, my name is Paul Pekidon. Um, I am the consular associate, so I pretty much help everyone else <laughs> achieve their goals. So I'm the other extra hand. <laughs> and I don't know how anybody can take the heat. But we want you to get into the, into the garden at least. I think the brothers have went out and, and prepared to live. After we had the chance to enjoy just a taste of that raw and living tree of life vibration, we prepared for a feast, a sojourn through the gardens of the Quatamani First Genesis tribe. The sugar cane is looking good. We're packing the greenhouses. So we always keep a rotation. These are the babies, we call them suckers, ready for the next um, cycle of planting. Banana trees, beautiful. That's what we eat, what we grow, we grow what we eat. Almond trees, we love the almonds. Giving all due honor to those sacred ancestral lineages of tillers of the soil. Mango are coming into season. The keepers of the seed bearing fruit and the fruit bearing seed. Now we did not get a chance to see all the trees, so I'll just name a few. Molly apple, custard apple, June June, sapodilla, black sapote, jackfruit, lime, palm fruit, lychee, tangerine, avocado, bobby water, cashew, cacao, carob, noni, neem, moringa, and macadamia, among many, many other tropical fruit and herb trees. And then in the garden proper, we're going through a rotation. Some of the fields have just been plowed. Some were just harvested for seeds. When you take good care of her, Mother Earth is bountiful. We have been growing in the garden bok choy, arugula, kale, cabbages, varieties of lettuce, eggplant, okra, cucumbers, watermelon, sesame seed, tomatoes, a variety of peppers, hot, medium, and mild. Pumpkins, cauliflower, broccoli, sunflowers. And now several of the fields are ready for a new planting season. Just a few weeks ago, the high priest Guatemani and the youth were walking through these very same gardens, filled with all kinds of greens. Some we ate and some went to seed to be collected and stored for this planting season. Yeah, this area right here, we're going to have pineapple tea, all right? So we were growing some pineapple a little while back. We had to um, take those out and prepare the land so we plant some. And as we continued our sojourn, we went to some of the far back fields. 
This field was where we planted and harvested hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds of ground nuts, also called peanuts. It will be plowed soon for replanting. And on we continued through one of our coconut groves. Plenty of shade and good breeze and coconuts. We made our way to the main garden down closer to the creek. Oh, I didn't mention some of the herbs we grow. Dill, basil, rosemary, mint, oregano, cilantro, culantro, thyme, sage, ginger, turmeric, aloe vera, everlasting life, and all kinds of bush herbs. Just a little while ago, we were putting suckers in the ground. And now look at it. We have more than enough to share with our guests who said they wouldn't mind a little kale or collard greens or Chinese cabbage. With it being so hot and dry, we really are fortunate to have a year-round creek. And all of that irrigation and all of those pipes running to all of those gardens really are a necessity. We sometimes remember our very first ground nut harvest and carrying all of those buckets of water by hand. The high priest Quatamani has a few words to share as we prepare to go into the jungle to get to the creek. You have to watch the overhanging. All these vibrations, vines, etc., because snake lives there. Quiet your mind. You're entering the sacred ancestral tropical rainforest jungle sanctuary of the Quatamani First Genesis tribe, the oldest, longest sustaining, purely plant consuming family community order known in Western Hemisphere and thereabout. Look, look over there. As we make our way to the creek, it would be a perfect time to take a swim and cool off. But I don't know if anybody bought their bathing suit. Well, our youth certainly do enjoy the creek every chance they get. <laughs> oh, I didn't mention at the time, but we were always on the lookout for crocodiles. Oh, and we didn't mention the yellow jaws, Mayan coral snakes, and jumping vipers. There's a lot that one has to become keenly aware of when moving in the bush and the jungle. In fact, we must reinstall our natural and innate survival skills. Whether on the streets of the so-called concrete jungle or within the natural splendor of this tropical rainforest jungle. During these times of earth-shifting change. After we got back from the creek, we did address some of those mundane bureaucratic questions. In a discussion, the high priest Quatamani noted that the Belize Vegan Roots Sisterhood and Brotherhood basketball teams are both reigning champions in the capital city of Belmopan. When asked about the NBA, he reasoned with a smile, we're not that far off grid. In fact, he noted favor towards the Denver Nuggets due to one Michael Porter Jr., who we gave a special acknowledgement to when he was several years younger and expressing strong intentions toward a raw vegan lifestyle. Additionally, he noted favor in the East towards the Miami Heat, expressing much appreciation for one strong team player, Jimmy Butler, saying, I like the way he responded to his mama and their adversities, being very forgiving and realizing that the best thing that any youth can do is look, listen, learn, discern, so as to do much better when it becomes his or her turn. And then it was time to conclude our visit. 